I'm going to show you how to set up Star Cluster on an Ubuntu 14.04 virtual machine. I'm just going to demonstrate what it will look like. So I'm going to log into a box that I've already completed. You can see this virtual machine is running Star Cluster, and I'm going to verify the kernel version and the Ubuntu version. On one of my previous recordings, I demonstrated how to create an up-to-date version of Ubuntu and install the latest kernel on an Amazon machine. I'm going to use that as my starting point. You might want to go back and review a video and create an equivalent machine. I'm going to log into an instance. One of the first things we need to do is edit the repository sources list. The script available on GitHub will attempt to install from the multiverse repository. So I'm just going to uncomment these lines. I've also noticed that the script fails out in a few places. So I'm going to update a few things that I'm going to disable in the script. So the NFS kernel server, NFS common, fails. So I'm going to install that manually. I'm just going to create a soft link. I'm going to create a star cluster directory where I'm going to download a copy of this script and I'm going to modify it. I'm just cutting and pasting straight from the website. I'm going to disable install NFS. We've already done this manually. There are also a couple of Python packages. I'm also going to disable this install, numpy and skippy. That errors out a few times on a previous attempt. We're going to do that manually. I've also noticed the script errors out on C types. The latest version of Python has this already as part of the package. Condor has been replaced by HT Condor. I'm just going to find install Condor and change the command to install HT Condor. That's the script. Before we run the script, I'm just going to clear up and in manually install the remainder of the packages that I've just disabled. A final touch to the script, I'm just gonna modify the splash screen to display the correct version of Ubuntu and the package names I've installed. Set the correct permissions on the script at this point, you should go and get a coffee. It'll take about 30 minutes for uh, the script to complete the run. It took quite some time for that script to complete. If you run this virtual machine now as part of a star cluster, you'll fail out in two areas. Uh, one of them is the port map. It'll state that it can't find the installed package port map. And the solution to that is to create the soft link from where Star Cluster expects to find port map to upstart job. You need to create two soft links, so one for port map and one for port map wait. It's late and I'm being a bit clumsy. I'm just going to verify I've created these soft links. At this point, I thought I had a box ready, but when running it as part of a Star Cluster, it fails out near the end at the installing the Grid Sun engine. Disappointment. The workaround is to replace the SGE6 fresh directory. So I'm going to remove that on my machine. We're going to find a community star cluster AMI, and we're going to download the directory and upload that on my instance. Searching for star cluster under the community AMIs lists an Ubuntu 13.04 box. I'm going to start an instance. You should be pretty familiar by now choosing a key pair and launching an instance. So now we have a community star cluster AMI pending. We now have a running community version of a star cluster Ubuntu box. Take note of the public IP address. We're going to use that with a key pair to package and download the SGE directory. Let's connect to the instance of the community star cluster AMI. Let's go straight to the directory we want to download. 
just going to package this up as a compressed tarball. We're going to use secure copy from the client machine to download this file. But since we're using the Ubuntu username, we're going to have to move the tarball into the home directory of the user Ubuntu. Exit the virtual machine and from your local client, use the command secure copy, state the key pair, state the file and its location on the remote machine and just copy it to your local current directory. So we have a copy of the SGE directory. Our original instance is still running. So I'm just going to directly copy the file to my Ubuntu 14.04 box. I still have a live connection to my box under another shell window. The file successfully been uploaded. I need to unzip it just to verify I have the contents. That worked well. And now I'm just going to copy that entire directory to replace the one we deleted previously. At this point, we have everything we need for a successful run of a star cluster box. I'm just going to do some tidying up. We really should now create an AMI from this instance. We now have a box set up exactly as we want it to run star cluster. We're going to take that box and create an image, a permanent image. Going to, lay, going to call it uh, star cluster ready Ubuntu 14.04. Take note of the AMI ID. You can place that in a star cluster script. This AMI is now ready to be run as part of a star cluster network. At this point, I'm going to use star cluster to verify that the box we just created works. I'll go through how to install and set up a star cluster in another video. Here, I just want to concentrate on creating a star cluster node that's compatible with star cluster. We've had an issue free star cluster startup with the latest Ubuntu. Just going to connect to the master node. Just do a queue stat. Just verify. Here we are. I'll take a look at the network. Here we're running a two node network, master node. And let's terminate the star cluster. This is good news. You should now have an up-to-date version of Ubuntu star cluster ready.